Clear to five eight seven heavy one three zero zero nine and runway three one left clear to take off. Clear to take off three one left Marion uh five eight seven heavy. Clear to six eight six heavy K Tower question way Cobra, so with three one left tech position and hold. Position left to the left work is six eight six. Five eight seven heavy. Contact New York departure. Good morning. Hey, five eighty seven heavy. Oh. Oh, New York Ring five eighty seven heavy, thirteen hundred feet. We're climbing up front now. America 587 Heavy, New York departure, radar contact, line maintain 13000. 13000, see you later, 587 Heavy. Okay, Charlie Rice. America 587 Heavy, turn left, proceed direct, wavy. That's a copy. Ground well, we'll to the the ground. Uh, the 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 a Boeing 767 American <laughs> Airliners <laughs> jet. No word on <laughs> how many passengers were on board or where <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, something went down. We saw it go down. Yeah, they think it's an American heavy. I don't know if it was a 737 that went up or the 767 or the 777 that went up. The three planes went up. Uh, I just happened to look over. I was by the pier and I just saw, I just all of a sudden a big plume erect from the ground. So uh, we watched. We really couldn't make out the plane. So I don't know what the uh, the outcome is of that. All the traffic is out. It's been confirmed by the tower that the ops radio on. So it was on takeoff, right? Atlantic takeoff. Copy and take off and went down in uh, Rockaway. They sang Radio Beach 129th Street. Okay, so I'm trying to look at it, but the badger has been doing paperwork. I can't even get up to look at it. You should be able to see it right out the window of 14. It's in Rockaway. But the badger has been doing paperwork. Let me get up. The MP9, you can contact me. I understand. This has been a special report from ABC News. I'm Liz White. And of course, as we have been telling you, uh, we are seeing the black smoke billowing towards the sky from this plane crash just outside of uh, John F. Kennedy International Airport. Not sure of. We are also not sure where the plane was heading to. We spoke uh, just moments ago to a limousine driver, Emilio Santana, who was in JFK at the time. Wait, looks like an, air, an aircraft, an aircraft has gone down there. 
That's confirmed. I understand it's a Virgin Airlines uh, crash in a residential area off the Rockaway. Second. The report that it is a Boeing 767 exploded before it crashed and then... Okay, yeah, we've got to go get a Is that Right, seven one eight six five six zero six two seven or zero six two eight. Uh, if you can't get through on zero six two seven. Okay, we're gonna have to get a four three seven zero. Yeah, that's the, the other phone number I gave you earlier was for the tower here, but uh, we're also taking uh, other information on another phone number for if the information will uh, yeah. you I'm out, of the I'm out of the airside. We'll work. No they want to shut down construction operations at the airport? This jet. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. That room is going around and they shut all three airports down now. I don't know if it's just going to affect the CTA or anything else. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I 35 minutes ago, no word yet on how many people were aboard the flight. Again, now can we take uh, Zulu and Zephyr back to our number? So it happened. Just to be real, can you make that left there or is JetBlue in the left? Flight was flight number 587. Uh, flight 587 of American Airlines and uh, the uh, make of the plane an Airbus A300. CNN reports that Flight 587 was leaving Kennedy Airport for the Dominican Republic when it crashed in the Rockaways. And this contradicts some of the early reports uh, emerging from the scene. Of course, uh, uh, as so often happens, uh, with stories of uh, this nature, uh, no doubt we'll have a lot of reports. At Seven, leaving Kennedy for the Dominican Republic and that it was an Airbus A300. There is still no word at this point as to how many people may have been on board.
see they are replying. Yeah. And American one, did you see anything? Yeah, that's fine. Taxi ride. Hey, you get the pilot's response on that? That is too weak to pick up the signal. The blue 41, you can taxi down the runway exit at Kilo Alpha and then join the right Bravo to the ramp. Crew 178, again, they'll be moving. You can make left turn on Zulu, then left golf, bus to your right, taxi right Bravo back to the ramp. I saw the explosion on the Rockets. I was out here on the pier on the airside this morning. And I came back and I saw some people here in the park. And I just told them, look, the plane just crashed. And my son saw him about eight. He saw what happened. And that's when he saw the smoke and everything. It looks like it went down in the middle of the section in the Rockaways. Right after takeoff. Yeah, I thought I was Okay. Okay. Uh, we're losing traffic in transit now with 1010 Wings uh, traffic reporter uh, Pete Toriello. All right, James, the Bell Parkway still appears to be open, but of course uh, could be shut down at uh, any time as you make your way out toward the Rockaways and Kennedy Airport. Also, the Van Wyke Expressway is open at this time. Newark, JFK, and LaGuardia are indeed shut down now until further notice, and uh, there will be a possible closure up on the... Possibly some debris falling from the sky just before the crash. One witness tells Fox News Channel that four homes were on fire. This happening in Bell Harbor in the Rockaways, a residential area of the peninsula. Sent, uh, actually, I just heard that Bel Air is now off the field completely. They wanted everybody off the air side. Uh, well, like I said, we were out here on the pier when it's, the, the thing went down. We just saw the big flash and a plume of smoke. Yeah, I talked to Gestapo at home. Uh, I told them, you know, the outside work is definitely suspended, but the straight land side work should continue. Uh, right now, I'm just watching the news. I don't know. The airport's closed, obviously. Yeah, all the air traffic is shut down, uh, and like I said, all the contractors now are at the air side. We tried to put Bel Air in a hangar, but they let them go. Uh, they wanted everybody off the field, and uh, we had fighter jets over here flying over and everything else, so uh, that's the only information I have, though.
you can by radar, southeast or, uh, I mean, southwest or northeast runway. If it turned to hit Queens, uh, Queens is closer to LaGuardia than it is to, to JFK. So uh, it's, it's hard to know whether he's trying to circle around and come back into JFK. It sounds like he might have, and he wasn't able to make it. Thank you, Vernon Gross, former NTSB member. Fox News is saying now that one engine did fall off the plane. It has learned that one engine fell off the plane. As we told you before, military jets are now over the scene. The Pentagon has said at this point there is no connection to terrorism. And again, repeating, if you're just tuning in, an American Airlines Airbus Flight 587 has exploded and crashed this morning in the Rockaways, Queens. It happened about 9.15 as the plane was flying from JFK airport passengers on the plane 246 passengers nine crew and on the ground there are several buildings of course where where people live and mayor giuliani has said that uh, there were two crash sites the engine of the american airlines flight hit one area and the plane hit another area he says all airports have been shut down they were immediately shut down and the city has been on high Breaking up, I'll get back. 